Virgo, what's going on, my dears? Okay. Thank you for tuning in to Scorpion Red Tarot. We are here to find out what the Lord has in store for you for January 2019. That is right. We have made it to the New Year's, my guys. Yes, we have. All right. So let's do some quick house announcements, okay? And um, also, please note, every month I will be uploading the top viewed um, Zodiac sign. So this month... Um, Cancer was the most top viewed and the most top like sign. So if you want your sign to be one of the first to come out in the mid months, let's get them likes. Let's get them um, views up and Virgo will be the first sign to come out next month. All right. So um, if anyone wants a personal and private reading, click that about tab on my YouTube page. There's a hyperlink there that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. You can book a personal private reading with me, okay? And then also, um, if you would like to send a page donation or love offering, if this reading resonated with you, if it touched your heart at all, if it helped you um, find the guidance and the clarity that you needed, and if you would like to just send a love offering saying, thank you or if you would like to donate to the page so that i can get you know some new equipment or a new deck of cards or something like that trust me it is greatly appreciated and thank you so much to everyone who has sent um page donations and love offerings before trust me i appreciate it i appreciate it greatly um there's a hyperlink in the description section with my paypal information and um feel free to go ahead and um, donate if you um, have it in your heart to do. Trust me, I greatly appreciate it. So thank you to everyone who supports me and um, that provides encouragement for me to keep doing what I'm doing because um, y'all's energy is what feeds me to keep doing this. And I, I love you all and I thank you all for supporting me and watching and helping my page grow especially to everyone that's been sharing my videos thank you i cannot i cannot thank you enough thank you so much um to all my virgos thank you so much all right let's get into the prayer dear lord thank you so much for bringing us here and we made it into 2019 thank you so much for all of the lessons that we've learned in 2018 2018 was the awakening all right, in 2019 is the year of triumph and is the takeover, especially for my Divine Feminines. Especially my ladies that watch the Divine Feminine Daily Bread, you already know it's the takeover. The wait is over, honey. All right? And for a lot of my Virgos, oh, the takeover. The wait is over. It's no more being passive and being quiet and letting people get away with show. Oh, mm -mm. No, no, no. Not 2019. Not in 2019. Uh-uh, that passiveness, that is, mm -mm, that is long gone. We left that in 2018, honey. Oh, no, we're taking back. We're coming back with a vengeance. We whooping tail and we taking names, okay? Well, oh, no, mm -mm, no more that quiet stuff. No, mm-mm, because y'all done took my kindness for weakness too long. Uh-uh, we ain't playing in 2019. So, dear Lord, please give the sign of Virgo. Please give the sign of Virgo some guidance for January 2019. Because Virgo said, oh no, the world is mine in 2019. Then Lord, please put them steps in front of Virgo. Because what you have... What you have provided for Virgo, can't nobody take it. Can't nobody get in the way of that in the name of Jesus. Come on now. Come on through with the glory today. Jesus, please give the sign of Virgo some guidance in 2019 to continue to whoop tail and take names and be triumphant all the way into 2020. Come on, Jesus. All right? So let me take a sip of water for that. <laughs> Come on, Father. Give the sign of Virgo, some guidance. And thank you so much for all of your messages and the lessons and the blessings that you've given us in the past, pleasant, in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Virgo some guidance. Thank you so much, Paul. It's getting kind of dark in here. I hope y'all can see. Thank you. Spirit, please give us some guidance for the time of Virgo, January 2019. One more shot. Well, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. I feel you with me. Thank you, Spirit. I feel you. I 
I feel your presence. Thank you so much. I definitely feel your presence in this reading. Woo! The four of what? Virgo. And this how you going? Is this how you going in 19? Let me turn this light on because I, I, for some reason, I feel like y'all can't see. Me shine the light so y'all can see this new love that is coming to you in 2019, honey. You got the four of wands. That is commitment. That is true, loving, solid commitment in a precious a precious and adored relationship. Oh, uh, this relationship is so precious and it means so much to you. Y'all walking hand in hand. I mean, this is true love, commitment, celebration of this union, okay? Come on now, that is beautiful. Come on, spirit. What else you got for me for the sign of Virgo? Come on now. And the sun. And that you don't, oh, come on, Jesus. Come on, Virgo, come on. You don't release a battle and the sun has shined and you happy in your committed relationship. Come on, Jesus. Come on. Oh, and you said I can have anything. I can manifest and have anything in this world. Come on. Two of Wands, the Tower, and the Eight of Cups. And the oh, Lord Jesus, there's a lot popping on. What the heck is going on? Virgo, you got a whole lot shit popping and shit dropping in 2019, honey. What in the world? What in the world? All right, so, Virgo, like I said, you in a happy and committed relationship. And I'm going to repeat that, a happy and committed relationship. This relationship has taken a turn where it's like y'all are finally, I mean, I'm not saying finally enjoying yourself, but y'all went through a patch of a duration in your relationship where it was like a rough time that those days are over and i also feel like there's a lot of virgos that put down the burden of something that was making you unhappy y'all stop fighting and trying to hold on to something in the past that wasn't that wasn't helping you move forward that was keeping you unhappy Something in the past that you weren't feeling triumphant in. You weren't getting the attention that you deserved. You did not feel that you were going to win in this situation. You put this down and you decided that, you know, whatever those arguments or whatever, whatever was going on in, this, in the past in this relationship, y'all have healed this, Okay. Y'all have healed this. And I feel like um, there was something going on in the past in this relationship. And or it was a past relationship. Because I am seeing the past here. Because this is someone needing to get over the past here with this six of cups. I'm, I'm seeing a lot about the past. I'm seeing the six of cups. What else did I see? Someone trying to avoid the avoid an ending of something. And someone trying to go back to something that was left. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I really got to sit here and figure out what the hell all of this shit is about. Because it's like, you're in a relationship now where it's fully committed. Because you walked away from something that you weren't getting full attention from. You weren't being celebrated. You weren't winning. And because you walked away from this situation where you weren't getting the attention that you needed and deserved, now you're in a relationship where you're fully happy and it's fully committed and it's celebrated, all right? And, I mean, you are so happy and the light has been illuminated. I mean, the light is shining so bright on this relationship. I mean, you are skipping around like almost carefree like a child. You were just so happy. You were so happy. And it's like you don't even care about the fact that Whatever the situation is in the past, you don't even care that this person isn't giving you attention anymore. You don't, you don't care anymore. You don't care. Okay? I'm sorry, I feel like I keep needing water. You've um it's a princess of wands. So this is a woman, a woman Virgo. This new relationship. 
it really rebirthed you and, and, and you really feel anew. And you feel like you can create and manifest in anything that your heart desires. You feel like you can obtain anything that your heart desires. And um, whoever this is that... Whoever this is that brought this sunshine into your life and that you feel like you can have this passionate commitment with, uh-huh, you, you, you're sending messages to this person and you're like, look, I want you. I want you. Listen, that shit from the past that I was worried about, that I was having problems, letting go of the past, I want you. And I released that thing from the past. And I've decided to take movements forward, okay? This is action. This is movements forward. I want to be with you. I'm, I'm ready to leave what I've been focusing on, something that wasn't celebrating me, somebody that wasn't giving me the attention that I deserve, something that I was not going to win in this situation. I was giving too much of my passion and my energy to this. I decided to drop that. Because it's you who make me happy. It is you who I really have that commitment with. And I know that now. I know that now. I know that now. I wasn't going to win there. And um, mm -hmm, I know that I'm better off with you this is something where i could build from the ground up i mean we can manifest we can have whatever the fuck we i mean we can have whatever we want we can have whatever we want because i know as long as i put my mind to it we can do whatever we want and i, I gotta release this thing from the past because this was the only thing that was holding me up this is this is i was giving too much of my emotions to something in the past and in, and i know it was something that i needed to let go but i don't know why i was holding on to it i don't know why it took me so long to come to this decision I was just stubborn. I was just stubborn. And, you know, I wanted to hold on to this situation from the past so bad. And I was really being immature. And I was fighting for something that was no longer serving me. So, you know what? I had to make the, the choice and the decision to grow up. Look at all these battle scars and all these wounds and stuff that I've accumulated. It was like almost self-torture. Me keep trying to go back to the situation from the past, trying to make it work. So I had to, you know, grow up a little bit. Because this is, this is immature. And I'm not going to continue to bruise and battle myself up this self-afflicted abuse. I'm not doing this shit anymore. So I had to communicate to this person, I got to cut you out. I got to cut you out. I got to cut you out and I got to stop trying to avoid this ending, this... Something that God has been trying to take away from me for a while, but I don't know why I was fighting so hard to hold on to something that the Lord was trying to take away from me. You know what? I decided, you know, it's time for me to take a new approach. Okay? It's time for me to take a new approach, and, um... It's nothing left there for me to go back to. You know what I'm saying? Every time I keep trying to avoid this ending and I'm, you know, with this immature communication, because it was just like a lot of arguing, tit for tat, back and forth. It was a lot of immature, petty ass. I had to stop doing that. I had to stop doing that. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, I had to stop going, looking. At this person's page trying to figure out what they were doing. I just had to stop a lot of immature ass behavior. I really did. And because I did that. And I decided to finally stop being an idiot. And cut this bullshit out of my life. And I realized I was the one. I was. I was hurting my own self. And I was being immature. I was avoiding something that no longer was serving a purpose in my life. And because of that, I, de I delayed a lot of happiness in my life. I delayed a lot of happiness in my life. And now I realized that it is nothing left there emotionally for me to go back to. So I had to literally pick my shit up and walk away with just the clothes up on my back and leave all of them emotions and leave all of that shit in the past. 
Because guess what? I was I realized now I was holding on to the past for too long. I was holding on for the I was holding on to the past for too long. I was trying to avoid this ending. I was being immature. A lot of the communication I was sending out, it was harsh and it was immature. And I had to grow up. Okay? And because I did that, and I, I, I've come to the realization, it's certain shit in the past I got to leave behind. And I need, I need to make the decision to leave the past in the past, to move forward and to manifest in a different direction and send passionate communication that is going to promote my growth. That is going to promote me healing and it's going to promote me growing. I'm happy now. I found somebody that really loved me now. And I'm thankful for it. I don't regret a thing that I went through in this past relationship because it taught me. It taught me to be, be a child again. Be like a child again. Find my innocence again. To open up this door for true love. And I thank you, God. And Virgo wants to tell God, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for getting in the way of your work. Because I was being immature. And I didn't want to see things clearly. I didn't want to see things clearly. I get it now. I get why you told me to leave every fucking thing back there. Leave all of it in the past and move forward. Now I'm happy. Now I have true commitment. All right? So, Spirit, please give the sign of Virgo some guidance in regards to what is this? Happy family. Spirit, please give the sign of Virgo some guidance in regards to January 19 in regards to energy. What is the energy surrounding the sign of Virgo? January 19. That was a lot right there. And you know, I also want to say to you guys, I feel like I feel like some of the Virgos were This is why is it such it's just a lot. Why? Why? Why are y'all having so many cards today, Virgo? My gracious! Whoa! What fell out first? Whatever, it don't matter. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. I'm about to read it just like this. Boom. All right. So the door to value has opened. Not only for you on a material realm, but just in regards to your self-value. I feel like you, this process of you shedding old skin, of you shedding dead weight and opening up this door for true happiness and abundance to shine over on you. You've grown a lot personally and professionally, okay? You were impatient. You were very impatient about this change. And um, I feel like you're still impatient because of certain things that you just want to really, you just really want to kick the door open on certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially in regards to your finances. You just want the door to, you know, to your finances to just, a floodgate to just open and just pour down on you. Because I feel like you've been going through a lot financially, um, Virgo, and you're just impatient. You're impatient, okay? You're impatient. And um, this is the sixth chakra archangel Metron, okay? So this is this, this is in regards to you using your third eye chakra. And I'm going to read exactly the verbiage from this. Clarity, thought, and personal vision, yep. Yeah. All right, so let me read this. It says reversed. This card 
reverse um this card reverse admonishes you to get clear you may have lost in you may you may have been lost in confusion and had unclear distorted thinking but even if this state of mental chaos has been going on for quite some time your lack of personal direction can be turned around take off the blindness and widen your perspective visualize the life that you want to live and the person that you want to be with all right make that your intention it is time to break out of the old toxic thought patterns whether they have to be habits of worry, doubt, or self-criticism, it is also time to develop a clearer, healthier vision of how you perceive yourself and what you want your daily life to look like, all right? Know that you are in charge of making it so. Meditate on Metron's strongest presence in your brow center and see the beautiful indigo light spinning there. Affirm that you are creating a new clarity and sense of direction you have all the power that you need to create a personal strong vision that will guide you on your path make it a priority now yes like i said you have the light has been illuminated that this the light has been illuminated that this commitment that you long for it is yours to have. It is yours to have. So even Virgo, if you have not, if you have not reached that level of success, and even if you have not had that communication yet about this strong, fulfilling love, you know I can manifest and I can create and I can have whatever the hell I want. You know that now. You know that now. And it had to do with you letting go of certain shit in the past. Like they said, toxic behaviors, okay? Recycling same energy from the past. You had to realize, like you said, I had to come to a point where I was at a crossroads and I had to look at what I'm doing and I had to realize I need to leave certain shit in the past behind, okay? Because it was my immature behavior. It was my immature behavior that was keeping me stagnated, my immature communication, me not letting shit go that wasn't serving me, all right? Me avoiding this tower, me avoiding changing certain shit about myself and letting go certain shit that didn't need to be in my life anymore. I had to leave everything behind. And I delayed this. I delayed this. Use your third eye, use your intuition. Use your third eye. Use your own intuition. This is the woman holding the heart in reverse. Because of everything that you went through and your lack of patience, you've been withholding your heart. And I want to say that you haven't even truly been loving yourself the way that you truly have, my Virgo women. Okay? What I want you to realize is, is that this door to value, it starts with self. You have to love yourself in order for the doors to personal value and success to just be kicked open and wash through like the floodgates that you really wanted to do. You understand what I'm saying? You have to love yourself. It starts with you. You have to have patience in this situation. It's not going, you ain't get yourself in this way of being in this, in this toxic pattern and in, in this way of being overnight. You ain't, you ain't create this overnight. You ain't created overnight and it ain't going to heal itself. It ain't going to heal itself and it's not going to happen overnight. That's why you got to stop being so immature in your way of thinking because you got two young cards. Okay? You got the Princess of Wands and you got the Prince of Swords. Okay? So you are, you are, you, you've been rebirthed again. Like I said, you almost feel childlike. You understand? You're excited about this new passionate um, beginning that you had. You're excited. You didn't left a whole bunch of shit that wasn't, wasn't benefiting you no more behind. And you realize you not being clear in your thoughts. Okay, swords, the prince of swords, this is someone not having clear thinking. Or having still immature thinking. Okay? You realize that that was a part of this lack of patience. You understand? Because you were just you weren't being mature enough. Now you you don't came. You realize you realize 
and you've opened up that third eye and you realize that it comes down to you loving yourself. If you really, really loved yourself, you will find that balance. You will find that balance that you're lacking because this is the angel of balance in reverse. You're lacking the balance in the foresight, okay, and the determination that it really takes for this change to really come through. And you see that. You see that and you understand that is why the money has not been flooding in like the way you want it to. Because you have to love yourself. It starts with self-love, okay? You're deceiving yourself. You're deceiving yourself. You're trying to skip over that, that step. And you cannot skip over that, that step. You are deceiving yourself. You have to grow up, Virgo. You have to grow up. And not only that, Virgo, you are very passive. And certain things that you want to change and certain levels of respect that you want and certain things that you want to demand, but you don't know how to open up your mouth and verbally, you know, assert yourself in that way to demand it. And it's like when you finally do open up your mouth, it's like it's premature, immature communication. Where ain't nobody even listening to you. You got to look at how you coming off. You can't be so passive and just let shit happen and let shit happen, let shit happen until the shit boil up, boil up, boil up. And then it's like when you finally say shit, you're like, ah, da, 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 da. don't nobody want to hear that dumb ass shit. Because when you could have spoke up, you didn't. You getting in your own way, deceiving your own self. Do you understand what I'm saying, Virgo? You have to see your patterns. You have to see your behavior for what it is. You can't just let shit keep going by and passing you by and passing you by towards a way where it's getting to the point of irritation where you're exploding. This is someone that is exploding. And it's like, well, fuck that shit. Now I'm about that action. What's good? What's good? And you hurting yourself. You can deal with these situations in a lot better way. If you just don't avoid shit and assert yourself in a more adult manner, think about think about what you want to say and how you want to come off and saying it so people can receive it correctly. And you'll be good. You'll be good because like I said, at the end of the day, you weren't getting the acknowledgement that you wanted. Okay? And wands is communication, okay? People were not willing to hold up the communication with you. And you weren't being successful in this communication. And you um, accomplishing what you were trying to accomplish. Because it was premature in, uh, 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 communication. And you weren't coming to the table in the light that you really should have. All right, so let me just move on. But this financial uh, constraint and all of this stuff like that, it all, it will all balance itself out once you love yourself. You got to love yourself. You got to speak up a little bit more on certain things. You got to really find balance. You got to find patience. You can't be impatient in this process because all you're doing is deceiving yourself, Okay. Please give this sign of Virgo some more guidance in regards to love. There's a, there's somebody that you're dealing with. That, that there's really no chemistry there. There's no chemistry there, and I feel like you just you you just you're just in the situation. You're just in the situation, and it's like you're not you're not finding the mature way to communicate to this person that you're ready to move on and find happiness and things like that, and that you're keeping an open mind elsewhere. It's like you you you're having a hard time opening up your mouth using your throat chakra and communicating this to this person. And like I said, you're not doing anything but deceiving yourself because this relationship that you're in right now is keeping you financially bogged down. And you know that if you just open up your mouth, stop dealing, stop deceiving yourself and think that you can work things out and make things happen and avoid you know, like I said, you're trying to avoid something. You, you, you're deceiving yourself. You know it's not going to work. And you're holding on to something that you need to let go. 
You're deceiving yourself. And this thing is keeping you unbalanced. All right? You're not really loving yourself in this situation. Okay? You're not using your intuition. And you don't and you have lack of patience in this. But you gotta value yourself. You gotta open up your mouth and tell people that you're not happy and move on. Move on. Move on. You delaying it. Tell this person there's no chemistry. There's no chemistry here. There's no chemistry here. I'm not happy. I'm not fulfilled in this relationship. There's no chemistry here. I'm not happy. I'm not fulfilled. I want to be free. I'm trying to keep an open mind elsewhere because I just feel like there's happiness somewhere else. It's just not here. It's not that I don't love you. It's not that I don't care for you. It's just not working anymore. It's not, it's, it's not working anymore. And I'm trying to stay optimistic about love in general because... I've been holding myself here in this situation for too long in a situation where I'm really not happy. And I just feel out of balance. I don't want to uh, give my heart to the situation anymore. I'm just I'm just not happy. And my money getting fucked up. I, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. I really don't want to do this anymore. I don't feel like it's safe for me to offer my, my heart in this situation anymore. I'm trying to keep my, my, my mind open elsewhere and i'm trying to stay optimistic in love because i just know it's something better than this this situation right here isn't safe for me to continue to love in. it's really not i know that i deserve love but i don't deserve to keep offering it in this situation okay you remind me um some shit in my past i feel like Y'all might be holding on to a relationship with someone that might remind you something about your mom or your, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there's somebody that, that's dealing with some type of abandonment issues with their parents or something like that. And maybe this woman or maybe this man reminds you of your mother or your father or something like that. Or maybe the fact that you just never had a mother or a father or whatever it is. It's like when people come into your life, you you wanna you you wanna hold on to them and you don't want them to go because you, you don't want to be alone. And, and and it's it's a trigger. Something from your past. This is a trigger about something from your past. Alright. And it's like something it, it's you don't want to continue to to keep trying to connect with this person. There's not even any romantic feelings in this situation anymore. You want to get out there and you want to flirt elsewhere. Someone that, you know, someone that you're attracted to because you're not even attracted to the person that you're with anymore. And like I said, this person that you're with, it triggers shit with your family. Because you need to heal families. This person triggers some shit that has something to do with your family and your upbringing. And I feel like there's some Virgos out here suffering from abandonment issues. Like your mother left you, your father left you, or you seen your father leave your mother, or you seen your mother leave your father, or something like that. And you need to come to terms with that. Because it's affecting the way that you deal and you operate with people in your relationship. And you need to separate from the person that you're with, like right now. And you need to find someone that you really want to express your love with. Okay. Virgo just want to be happy. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I, I'm sorry. Like, the first reading I did, my ears keep feeling clogged. I don't know why. I just, I keep feeling like clogged ears. Like, someone don't, they really don't want to listen to this. Information and it's like you know what you know and, and you don't have to listen to me. You already know this situation. You know this. You've been avoiding the ending. And I feel like Virgo, have you met someone? Have you met someone, Virgo, with? Hold on, you guys, please. How can I help you? I was talking to you. 
to record it. Excuse me, y'all. I'm choking on one night. So it's like, either you, you met someone that brings this childlike energy out of you, where you want to put the wands down and stop fighting and because you realize that this situation is, you're not going to win in this situation. And now you want to manifest elsewhere and get over the past because you feel like you'll have a committed bond here. That's that's honestly what I'm getting. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like y'all have met someone that y'all 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 see the sunshine, y'all see happiness there, and you're just like, what am I doing? Why am I still holding on to? Why am I avoiding this ending with this person? Okay, cause um, yeah, it's a five of swords. Like I said, you fighting a um, we're fighting a battle trying to hold on to a relationship with. This is, I feel like the person that you that you've been with. This person has been playing a lot of mind games and manipulation on you. And um, I feel like it's something that the Virgo possesses that the person that you've been with has been able to um, has some type of financial gain from whatever it is. It's something that Virgo has that the person that they've been dealing with, they've been able to come up off of. And it's like they're, they're willing to tell Virgo and manipulate Virgo and do any type of trickery or deceit, whatever the fuck that they need to keep Virgo in the pocket because it's something that they're gaining and they're benefiting from Virgo being in their life, okay? And this is the Seven of Wands. This is the Seven of Wands. This is like a lot of competition and conflict. I feel like the person that Virgo has been dealing with, this person keeps them in conflict, in, in drama, in um competition with other people and this person uses this competition and all of this stuff to keep virgo in the pocket because at the end of the day as long as virgo can is competing for their love they'll always win but the thing is if they don't realize is that virgo is tired virgo is tired of battling this is right above the six of wands. Virgo was tired of battling this, 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 this fight that they're never going to win. And because it's all of this competition, you, this person has not been able to give Virgo the required and desired attention that Virgo needs. So it's like, why the fuck am I keep fighting and putting up all of this drama and shit? Why, why am I competing for you and you? You got so much going on, you can't even give me the attention and shit that I want, so why am I doing this? Someone has been having Virgo compete for their love. Mm -mm. That's not acceptable. What is this? All right. The Queen of Pentacles. It's somebody that Virgo has been dealing with that is not financially stable and that needs Virgo for their livelihood. I feel like the only thing that they see in regards to Virgo is money. This person finds uh, fulfillment and complete happiness with Virgo. Okay? And Virgo is at a point now where they're like, look, I need balance. I need balance. I need balance and I need to pour some faith into myself because at the end of the day, um, I need to have better judgment and I just, I want God to forgive me for delaying and holding back myself when he's been trying to make these changes in my life and send me true love. I've been trying to send me true love because at the end of the day, it's like, look, I just need someone that loves me the way that I love them, that is willing to put forth the energy and the effort and the same amount of love, passion, and determination. I need them to, the same thing that I put in them, I need them to put it in me. I don't need it to just be me and people reaping the benefits off of everything that I'm doing. I don't mind taking care of someone, but I need them to take care of me as well. All right? And... 
this is someone, you know, holding on to some shit from the past. And I realized that me holding on to that shit from the past didn't hold, didn't give me any value, okay? And this is the Three of Pentacles. I feel like Virgo at this point in time is willing to work on their self and get the required guidance that's needed from either God, church. Um, I feel like maybe y'all might be going to y'all friends to get counseling. Y'all just going to seek some type of counseling. It's like you, you're having a third party step in and help you get to where you need to be so that you can build that foundation. Okay, you, you, you're getting that help from somebody, from a counselor, to help you get the foundation that you need. Yeah, because it's like, you know, I see the quality in life that I want. I know exactly what I want. I want fair giving and receiving. I want true love. I want to be forgiven for the things that I've done in the past and me having a lack of judgment. Because I know good and goddamn well what's right for me. And what I should be doing at this point in time. I got balance. I got faith. I got patience now. And I know that Ten of Cups. I'm sorry. Ten of Pentacles will come to me. Not only will I have emotional fulfillment. I have financial fulfillment. I'll have support of a loving wife or a loving husband. I have children. I have everything that I need. At the same time. Only thing I got to do is get rid of this bitch right here. Because this is either... A woman that's in your life for all the wrong reasons, okay? This woman is just with you for the money. Or And or if you're a Virgo woman, you've been undervaluing yourself. All right? So, we do one more spread and then we up out of here. Because you be dropping a whole bunch of cards, Virgo. Good Lord, look, they got that three-party card. They got that heartbreaking and three-party. I already knew that. I already knew that. You ain't even had to tell me that it was a three-party relationship. I already knew that. It's a six of cups. Okay? So, and, and you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't even necessarily, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, um, how can I say this? Because I'm seeing a couple of different things here. I'm seeing that it's a Virgo that's in a relationship, but they're not giving their all in the relationship and they're not being successful in this relationship because they're still focusing on a relationship in the past that they should have been let go. And they need to give their self to this relationship that they're in right now. Okay. And then I also see someone that's finally getting to the point that they're taking the emotional cups that they had from all that relationship in the past and they're pouring it out. Okay, they realize I cannot give myself emotionally to the situation in the past no more. It's no longer benefiting me, okay? Because at the end of the day, I'm heartbroken. It's keeping me heartbroken and stagnated. I see this person in my past, they done moved on with somebody else and I'm sitting back here watching, stabbing myself in the fucking heart. This person done moved on. Okay? This person done moved on. And it's like, I need to pay attention and I need to be focused on what's in front of me instead of focusing on the past. So there's a Virgo out here that this 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 relationship is in the past, it's dead and it's, and it's gone. And you have a good situation right here in front of you and you're about to fuck it up because you're too busy focusing on some shit on the past that you're trying to avoid an ending to that's already done and you need to let it go. And I feel like you've been being immature trying to communicate and, and, and trying to, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're in this, where, where is it? Because I know I see, you're in this crossroads. You need to leave that shit in the past, in the past, and move forward. You got to leave it in the past. Because at the end of the day, you got true happiness right here. True happiness, success, in a committed relationship. You have to leave this, this garbage in the past. You have to leave it in the past. It's not benefiting you. All right, Virgo, this has been your reading. I love you guys. I hope y'all got the message. If y'all want a personal private reading, y'all go ahead and hit me. All right, click that about tab. All right, Scorpio Reds, it simply book me. Um, 
And please do not keep your ears clogged. I feel like my ears are clogged. I'm about to like hold my nose and blow right now because I my ears feel clogged. And I don't know why. My last reading, my ears did not feel like that. This reading, I feel like I need y'all to take heed, okay? Because y'all are going to mess up a good foundation, a good, happy relationship if you're still holding on stuff from past, okay? Let go of things from the past. I love you, Virgo. See you soon.